Whenever you strap on your sidearm, you're trusting your revolver to a piece of leather craft that usually costs a fraction of your gun. You can get mighty fancy with the holster, like Hollywood cowboys do, or get down to the basics. I don't believe in a Mexican carry, but I do prefer the Mexican double loop holster. It's one of the very earliest of the open top belt holsters. It appeared a few years after the Civil War. It's a simple design cut from one piece of leather. A lot of times after a long drive, cowpokes would sell their heavy leather bumpers or chaps and an enterprising leather worker would turn them into loop holsters with very little effort. Only one edge needed to be hand stitched with heavy thread or rawhide strips. Then the craftsman would just fold it and sell it. Pretty easy. I like the rough texture of this holster that I picked up for 40 bucks on eBay. It was made by Wiley Leather out of Laramie, Wyoming. I'm not riding my stud stallion anymore, but if you are, you might add a leather strap like this holster has to keep your six gun from becoming trail trash. For cowboy action, another leather strap should be laced through the toe and back flap to secure the holster to your leg. Cowboys and Indians alike used to get fancy with their holsters. This is a reproduction of Geronimo's holster. I like simplicity, so I just added an Indian head nickel to my rig. It's easy to do. You just take any coin, such as a Mexican peso or an old nickel, and dish it like a button. and use liberal amounts of JB Well to fasten it to a washer riveted to the loop. Well, it's time to clear leather and do a little shooting. Adios, amigos.